Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger. Um, Lavos just fell. That's the crater he just made. Let's continue on from there. Let's go straight into the layer ruins and see what we can find here. A gate has formed. Lavos fast. Deep under earth now. These gates are likely the result of the energy radiating from Lavos placing strains on the surrounding time space. What wrong, Chrono? Want fight Lavos? Go here? No? No, we don't we don't want to fight Lavos just now, because we're still not nearly strong enough. That's a nice thought, Ayla. Okay, well it looks like we're going back where back where? My time gyro reads 12,000 BC. We are still in the very distant past. Chrono, where this place? We're in the Ice Age, okay. Looks like we're good on all that stuff. Um, there seems to be a little hut here. Guess we should check that out. Can't do anything here, okay. I must have to go this way then. Yes, okay, there's a little city. Skyway. Oh, I see what's going on here. They're not on the ground because it's too cold. They're up. They're up. Ooh. Enhasa. Land bridge. Okay, let's go to Enhasa before we go to the land bridge. This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can become a reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There's always a price to be paid. Welcome to Enhasa, Zeal's city of dreams. We seek enlightenment with the bliss of sleep. Hmm, you're not one of us, are you? You are most unusual visitors. I am waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. Chinkers of all kingdoms which led to great advancements. Oh, I can't just go directly up there? Okay. What say you? The world you see with your eyes may differ completely from what these are many different these are many uh, observers never assume that only those things you can touch are real, okay? Whatever you say, dude. Missing another sleeper. The city of Kashar, the high seat of the magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. Airship, the blackbird is maintained there as well. Okay. Queen has sealed away the great element, elemental weapons and armor forged with the power of the sun. Seats entrance on the northern continent. Oh, okay, so that's where the stuff is sealed. Okay. I am Dory and seek the hidden path. I'm guessing this is a shop here. Perfect. That's all I things in the potions. This is probably maybe a couple of those. Boy. Do you wish to speak to us? What wrong? Ooh, that animal for eat tastes good? The black winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. Is that true? Let me calculate the probability. Why would he say such a thing? Strange boy, but not bad boy. I wonder what's with the northern shrine. No doubt the key to unlock the seals held at the palace, but it is strictly forbidden. Oh, okay, so this is... Okay, well, good enough for me. Alright, let's head... To the land bridge here. Oops, I took I might have took the wrong one. I wasn't wrong. I just have to go across this continent to the next little zone here. And get up to this next skyway. Up we go. 
Okay, so now we're on the main continent here. Small cave. Kajar. Blackbird. Let's go to Kajar first here. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research on the magical arts, okay? Your power different it's difficult to describe, but I sense you strange kindness, indeed. Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. It's a conundrum, okay? Matt has two children, Lady Shala and young Lord Janus. Lady Shala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. Such a gift. Her life must be all ease and luxury. Okay, that's another recovery. Okay, let's go up one of these, I guess, into one of these rooms. Gorgeous of Lifetime, okay. Deals progress for its power, okay, so they got new energy. No, the deal, but I heard he has power is most uncanny. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill, but my have been these days. It must be that took them. They do so pranks. Here's no doubt. In, how can I work like this? Okay, so we can surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janice. He's a robot, of course, but it doesn't even have the faintest trace of magical ability. The moonstone could be restored to the glorious if to glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm, but was eons. None of this, everyone. It's that gorgeous glow again. How nearly infinite energy of our sun. The energy was slowly depleted and turned to a lightless moonstone. Okay. Ocean Palace, everlasting palace beneath the waves. Behold, that is the great blackbird, built by Balthazar, the guru of reason. To see it, sort across the sky, you think, okay? Okay. What else can we do here? I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and go to the blackbird here. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume. She's fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing here? Hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his cards so easily. I, I guess to the small caves we go then, right? We have no other choice here. small cave another beam up into the sky here okay zeal palace this is the queen's palace in the center of the magic kingdom of zeal which is to say this is the center of the universe okay dude Source our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the oldest. Are they talking about Lavos? The portal to the ocean's palaces in Her Majesty's mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. Is that source of energy Lavos? I can't tell. The pendant of yours. It looks like Lady Shala's, but it doesn't glow like hers. Interesting. Queens, okay. What's up? The man appeared only recently, but he earned the queen's trust quickly with his strikingly accurate predictions. His origins are mysteries. None of he's not one of us enlightened ones, but nor is he an earthbound. You best to speak to the queen, or you wish to learn of the mammon machine in the ocean palace. Just between you and I, I've not placed much faith in her answers. Gave you right now, she's been different as of late. Okay. Does this take me? The queen must have 
borne a great deal of pain and sorrow and silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. And it was made from the same redstone as the Mammon Machine. When she prays to the device, Pendant glows with an unearthly light. Okay. Shala. Oh, Janice, you've returned. Is something wrong? The black winds. You feel the foreboding. Don't worry, it will be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardon, your highness. The queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear, well, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Okay, Janice. Let's see, what is this way? Oops, scared him. What is that? This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos, so Lavos is the power source. Ma'am, she has moved to the Ocean Palace. We can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. Oh, my dear queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. Overnight, a much colder one. Just because I heard that it was opposing right, who not just vanish or never heard from again. Melkor, the guru of life, we met him, opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it's terribly suspicious. Requires magic problems to regulate, okay. The guru of life, Melkor, was in charge of the plans and constructed a great deal of the research. Okay. Can I press this? No. Okay. Let's go to the middle one here. We use the pendant to open those doors. That makes sense now. We could we have our own pendant. Wait, strange, why no move? This door appears to be a highly effective security system. Okay, so I guess let's just go and go to the Mammon machine and charge it, I guess. Okay, so this will give like power to the pendant, right? Okay, so now that we got power, we should be able to open that door is what I'm guessing here. There we go. Get that door open. Oh, Ayla, go. No be scared, Chrono. Marl's pendant is the most certainly made of the Guru Stone. Hopefully I don't need Marl in my party for this. Who are you? How did you get in here? Prophet, your majesty, these are the bringers of disaster of whom I spoke. Indeed, they and the Gurus alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me. Fools, one and all. Dalton, seize them. Yes, your majesty, with pleasure. Golem. Okay, let's do this. That is a lot of damage right off the bat for one character. A lot of damage. So, is he gonna copy everything I do? Okay. Hey, he's dead. Athenian water. Okay, 
mid potion. We're gonna need high potions, I'm, I, I feel. Okay, man, this guy got a good counter attack. Let's use Robo's heal beam. Yeah, Ayla is not good. I sh probably should have switched to Ayla out, but I think I forgot. Anyway, we could probably... We could probably defeat this boss with Ayla and then switch her out, but... Happy's physical attack. At least we do a lot of damage because... Robo. Robo's dead, okay. When Robo gets back up, we'll have to heal with him. Is that gonna kill him? Okay, that only halves his HP. And we get a nice little counter attack in. Okay, so we get him up and then we could heal. We're probably gonna need to heal a couple times here because the healing isn't like crazy, crazy good. Who's he gonna hit? Oh, that's gonna kill him. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and while we do this, let's keep attacking at least just so we can get some like consistent damage in. Okay, who are you gonna kill this time? That's gonna kill Ayla. Pretty nice counter attack for another 200. Let's go ahead and honestly, I don't even know if this may be worth healing because he's just gonna kill one person every round. So at this point, I wonder if it's just worth just maybe letting them die and healing them. Or, yeah, and then just attacking and then reviving them later. Okay, who are you gonna hit this time? Chrono. Let's do a rapid fist. That's what I'm saying. So let's just screw healing. Let's just do a rapid fist. See how much damage this does. Okay, it's gonna kill Chrono again. Only halves. Okay, that's another good counter. Do rapid fire fist, and I guess we'll revive with Chrono here. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have much HP left. Okay, good. He didn't actually kill anyone that turn. Get another good counter in. Go ahead and raise him. Yeah, I, a lot of times I forget that Chrono has a raise magic, so... We could also use that instead of the Athenian water. Okay, has HP. Let's go ahead and do another raise here. Another cat attack. We just gotta make sure we constantly have targets for Golem to actually hit. Mimic Dalton. Oh. Oh, but everyone's like dead. I'm not gonna receive any HP or XP for any of them. Oh, my poor golem. You'll pay for that. Will I? Fear not. I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll, leo I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. Oh. What a delicious diversion. That's not very cash, is it? Huh, idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use, and you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue Melkor. Are you all right? Quickly, you must flee the palace, and if you can, please free the Guru of Life. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. 
don't. Hmm, very well. I'll spare their lives. But in return, you will co cooperate with me, Shala. Now, show me how it is you came here. So you came through here. Now, Shala, once I throw them in, you will seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me. You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... very well. Please forgive me. Okay, so they just shut us out a little bit. Which isn't super cash, but... Why would the Prophet not eliminate us? They take Lavos' power. Lavos get weak. Do you recall the crest on the door that the pendant opened? I have seen several of them in my own time. Curious crest is engraved here, and a mysterious force seals it shut. Okay. Let us return to my time. Okay, so apparently that's where now we need to go. Okay. Um, well, let's go over... I, I have a hard time remembering where all the portals are, but I'm pretty sure... The only portal at this place is right here. We're going to have to go back up through the mountain a little bit, but it's a very, very short walk. And I don't want to fight you little monkeys. Okay, so now we got to go to the Protodome. Ooh, Frog is here. Nice. Okay, and before um, we get done here, let's go ahead and just save... Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.